I won't. Avoid Dyden Hill. The blood plague is spreading. Um. Well, I kind of wanted to talk around and see. We've buried if so anyone... many. I wish the village wasn't so. The Red Legion is about. No. Best to sleep with your sword by your side. Thanks for your advice. Is no one gonna get mad at me for that? <laughs> I swear I spotted Dockelfar in the woods. But I've been mad before. Ooh. Uh where? Wait, what? Do I have to be Press H when the skull like Oh. So, can I loot this? Oh, it's the percentage that... Okay. It has nothing to do with... Oh, it's like D to move the slider. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I am Katrin. Do you require my healing touch in mind, body, or both? Oh, I need your touch, all right. Um, no, what I wanted to ask about was... Uh, Be careful out there. I don't want to just join, like, a group when I don't even know much about them. You know what I mean? But, you know what? Just for the sake of the game and LPing and everything, I'll join them. Right. I I'm recruiting for the war sworn girl. Woman. Unless you're here to join us, leave me be. All right. You can petition to join our order, or you can be on your way and leave me in peace. Come on, being a little bit uh. You well, could friendly? head straight to Shield Ring Keep and pledge your sword. Might work. But a commendation from me would carry a lot of weight. To earn it, you must do something commendable. No shit! There are two brothers, scoundrels of the Red Legion, named Osgar and Medgar Krast. Bring me proof you've dealt with them. I'll pay in coin and my good word. Where? Osgar hides somewhere in the woods north of here. Medgar was last seen east of his brother's camp. Bring me their legion daggers, and I'll pay with coin and a commendation to join the order. Okay, so I don't have to join, like, right now. So... Welcome. Okay. Welcome. I don't want to... Wait, where is this guy? Oops. He's here. So I don't want him to leave the town before meeting him. Greetings. Okay. Speak to Ari the Fae? What? No, I want Arden. Hello? Is this just not working? Like, I know it's a uh, release date or... But, like... I don't... I'm not doing that quest. 
Seriously. Okay. Well, if I can't do the main quest, like seriously. Whatever. Fine. I'll do it then. Or... Does the quest marker not lead you completely to them? Or is it like... Corner shop? Hmm. I don't know if it's my fault or... Don't give none of your business. She's mad Need enough. something? Fortress will allow you to craft your own weapons and armor using the blacksmith skill. Right. All unequipped items or weapons and armor in your inventory. Salvage it for components. Oh, okay. Each type of equipment will show what components are required to make it. Components you are carrying will light up in green. I see. And then there's like other armor and stuff. Okay. Did you see the war sworn at the inn? I wonder if he's trying to find new hirelings. Maybe I should volunteer. Okay, so they're seen in good light by these people apparently. Oh, I thought these were people, but they're not. Um, that would be stealing. Don't start any trouble. Not. Are you here for a weapon? Going to earn a lord's favor in this ridiculous war, are you? What? Oh, you do repairs. We here in Gorhart are far from the front, and deliberately so. Our hearts may be with the Alpha, but our bodies stay here, safe on the other side of Dalentarth. We've seen our fair share of dead. The truth is, we have as many cemeteries as we do settlements. I intended to pledge my sword to the Alpha, to fight the blasted Tuatha. Had my helmet freshly polished, my sword sharpened to a deadly edge. Then I saw the cart headed west. They carried the corpses of the fallen, some all the way from Melson Shear. After that, my fire to fight went out forever. So what you're saying is you used to be a fool and then you smartened up. I'll be here. <laughs> oh. These aren't stealing. Interesting. A rod. I don't know if I want to take them right now. I think I just want to leave them. I'll come with them later when I have some other stuff that I could maybe make with them. Oh, Rika's journal. Let's read her journal. Uh, da 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 da. Oh, can I not read it? Oh, yes I can. Fifteenth day of spring. Brother Mason has urged me to keep a journal so that I may exercise the ghosts that haunt me? What? That's an interesting reason to start a journal. He says that in writing down your thoughts, you thereby rid yourself of them and may find peace. I do not think that this will help at all if help is what I need, but I will try my best, if for nothing else but to appease him. It is hard to lose someone and have them in your memories, in the back of your mind. They linger there and you feel their presence, even though they're gone. It's sad, obviously, Eureka. But it's a sadness that encompasses everything. I was watching Gazelle today, the way she stands there, waiting for Camden to return when we all know he won't. I know her thoughts. It's different when you are simply separated from your love. You can go about your day in normal fashion and sometimes you are overwhelmed by their absence. Sometimes you just want to feel them something ten tangible and you do what you can to teach patience to yourself brother mason often says that mitharu grants the greatest rewards to those who are patient however it is hard and may mitharu guide her when she finally knows the truth then she will know a sadness that does not pay visits as a stranger but as an unwelcome bedfellow another shadow a mold on your will and a pal on your life how long is this <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's good, but... 20th 
23rd day of spring. Today I thought I heard children's voices near the outskirts of town. I know it now for what it was, although I did not recognize it then, nor knew it for aught but children playing. No, it was nothing but the ghost of my children calling their mother. Oh, They are, of course, no other children in this forgotten place. Gorhart feels as barren as an empty room. It is lifeless here, for all of the magic and wonder of the Fae, even the people. They trudge towards their doom with a resigned melancholy. They're all hiding or running from something or someone. They are tired and waiting for Mathard to end their petty pacing. It is a strange feeling to know grief as intimately as I do, and to see it in the eyes of so many. Even Brother Mason, the most vibrant shadow of our lonely town, hides a pain. Despite his at best attempts to keep it hidden, I have often seen it. He is just like all of us. A toy of fate's cruel play. He will not speak to me about it. I fear it will consume him, and he will no longer be able to bring the joy and happiness to the people here that so desperately need it. He'll be just another restless soul. Wow. This is really good, but it's kind of long. I don't know if you guys want me to like read all this or not. The 25th day of spring. Ost or Dura is here again, and again I am reminded of war. Has it not taken enough from me already? Does it need to steal what little solace I can find here in this lost village? I have half a mind to run him out of town. I may do so today if he tests my patience. I will be doing Gazelle a favor no less. How he dares come here after all of the trouble this war has cost, I cannot imagine. I imagine some day the war itself will arrive at my door. Maybe this time it will claim my life instead of the ones I love. Brother Mason would not like to hear it, but sometimes I wish for that, and who doesn't? To see Avery or Gruff again? To hold my sons in my arms again? Better to be the one mourned than the one mourning. Aww. Poor Rika. I feel so bad for her. Oh. I don't want peasant shit. <laughs> Wait, but... No, I... This... No. Who's Rika? This is Nettie. That's just a citizen. Who... Oh, are Welcome. you Welcome. Right, right, right. Welcome to Gorhart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Interesting way to say that. How can I fill your pack today? Some call it the Camp of Cowards, on account of it being settled by those who refuse to enter the forest. Can you blame them? Never trust a wood that whispers. There's Netty the Smith, and Nanny handles potions and remedies. The inn's across the way if you fancy a pint. Keep an eye out for the Red Legion, though. You know, Come see me again. I'm really liking this game so far. Um, I'm finding it very easy to get into and immerse myself into. The graphics aren't the most realistic, but I feel like I'm so much more attached to my character right now than I am to my Skyrim character. And I've played Skyrim for about 11 hours now. I don't know why, nice but I see you. just don't really feel I a swear need to I go saw back to that. Looked like a Tuatha running through the trees west of the village. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, is this the end again? Well, alchemy. Greetings. Hi. Herc Adwald has more than his fair share of challenges. Oh. What with the Red Legion, the Tuatha. This is a. This is an adult. Do you feel nauseous, itchy? Have you noticed any blood leaking from your eye sockets? No. I've been noticing the symptoms everywhere. I'm no, fine. this situation could not be any worse. If the Red Legion is involved, then we could all be staring death in the face. What have I done? What? What are you talking about? Why ask questions when you could never understand the answers? It's clear your prowess is not with wit, but with a weapon. Uh, excuse me? If you must know. Something of value has been stolen. How am I supposed to know that with just my wit? released could cause untold devastation. I see its symptoms everywhere. You're an Only my apprentice, Karth, and I knew of my work on the formula. But he's gone missing as well. 
It was in the early version, unstable and rife with potential dangers. My hope is to develop a weapon that the Alpha can bring against our common enemy, the Tuatha. To say more would be to reveal my secrets. All I can say is that it involves lesions, goiters, and a good deal of pus. Lovely. His name was Karth Hilfred. I found him one morning outside my door, picking through the ember eyes. I was impressed how well he knew his way around a plant. I've never seen one so eager to learn. Right. I do not deserve such good will after what I've engineered. If disaster occurs in Odorath, it will be on my head. I'm not sure where Karth may have gone, but I knew that before he came to me, he found shelter in the ancient chambers of Agnur Farhal, an Irathi ruin east of Gorhart. Once you've ensured Karth's safety, you must learn what's happened to my formula. When you do, destroy it. It's the only way to keep us safe. Once you've ensured Karth's safety. Isn't that supposed to be an E? I-N-S-U-R-E-D, insured, mean like, means like insurance, and E-N, doesn't that mean insured is how she's using it? Whatever, what the fuck do I know about English, it's my second language. I have seen many conflicts unfold, but never have I seen one in which the fates of so many are at stake. The Tuatha will not settle for simple victory. They want total domination and will do whatever it takes to achieve it. Right. Farewell. I really like the story and the dialogue and everything, but the accent. The accents are just a little bit overbearing. Can I... Oh, you don't have like a alchemist table or anything like that that I can use? Okay. Okay, well, let's go get some quests then, I suppose. Like, I was trying to find... Oh, in Yul, then. No, wait. What? Wait a minute. This is so confusing. Agar suggested we meet a fellow Fate Weaver Arden in Yolvan. Speak with the Fate Weaver in Gorhart. What? What? Okay, whatever. Maybe I should have gotten that healing after all. Aww. What the hell? Bogarts? Ugh. Okay, well, let's go. Welcome. Oh, wait, is this the right? Oh, it's not taking me up here. It's taking me somewhere else. Okay, I have to go out first. I'm wondering though if I should just like visit all the places. Or is the inn? Was this the blacksmith's place? Oh. I don't know. Oh, that was the alchemy place. Uh, is there oh, any I... buildings that I haven't visited yet? I don't believe so. Okay, whatever. Let's just go. Enough fucking around. But I think I'll cut the video off here, so I'll see you guys next time on Kingdoms of Amalar Reckoning.